That looks like a goose there sitting or a duck sitting on the water, right? The light farm. What a beautiful morning. Yesterday, two other priests and myself went walking up in the morning on Mount Arbel to check it out. An amazing uh, walk and nature experience. We're in the shortest day of the year, the winter solstice. We just had an extraordinary dawn colors, a scarlet sky. Instagram about half an hour ago. If you wish, check it out. You have the links uh, for Instagram, E. Kelly LC. And you can, I think you can link it straight away as well from the Facebook uh, information here. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dawn. Absolutely incredible. There are hundreds of birds here on the shore. Getting breakfast. And we're getting a little breakfast for our souls. There's quite a bit of wind, and that's obviously probably responsible for a lot of the wave action here. We'll try and get over closer to the over to the rocks down there. And today on this shortest day of the year there's a great flash of light in our reading. Woo! for you that is for you know where a good breakfast is here at Magdala <laughs> the delights of nature the marvels of nature the wonders of nature and we have beautiful wonders today a beautiful flash of light in the darkest day of winter in Ain Karim, where we were for the retreat, for the spiritual exercises, there it's remembered just outside Jerusalem. And there we have two pregnant women coming together. A young lady from Nazareth just beyond these hills here, over in Galilee. This is all Galilee. And she has gone to visit her woman who now is surprised with her pregnancy with John the Baptist and they're greeting each other what amazing greeting the text is so rich and then we have preceding that the reading from the Song of Songs where two lovers are longing for each other, looking for each other. An extraordinary metaphor, and more than a metaphor, for God's love for humanity, 
for his love for redeemed humanity, to redeem humanity. Maybe we'll just go down here to get closer to the water faster. to see a flower on the darkest day of the year. More flowers. And the greetings are so filled with life that these two women share. I put a crazy title on this video this morning. When was the first time you kicked your mom? Hopefully not too often, but, and just inside her. And moms tell that story about when their child kicked them <clears throat> in the womb. And Elizabeth says, and John, he leaped for joy. The child in my womb leaped for joy. Amazing, the child in the womb already recognizing the presence of his Lord. And he's six months more advanced than his Lord is in the, two, in the womb. He's ahead of the game, preparing the way. amazing statement Elizabeth makes blessed she who believed that what the Lord said would be fulfilled in her this is a bit of a wasteland here and in the wasteland of humanity Every soul that responds to God's grace is a huge blessing for humanity, for all of humanity. We are all connected, not just by internet. Long before that, connected by grace, by the love of our Creator. like to come out for a cup of hot chocolate on that table out there in the water. Blessed is she who believed without understanding everything. And you see, that's the dawn that's ready, prepared by grace for the entry of grace into our world.
God bless you. See you later, alligators. Enjoy the day. New life is coming. It's on its way.